Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of my Rubik Cube tutorial. In the first video I taught you how to do the first layer uh, including all the little T's and in this video I'll teach you how to do the middle layer um, as well as how to get the top cross for the yellow top face. Okay here we go. For the middle layer there is only one, two, three, four pieces we have to get into place. Once we do that, two thirds of the cube will be solved. What we first have to do is look at this top layer. We have to look at any of these four cross pieces. What we have to do is look for any that don't include any yellow. We've got one here, we've got another one here, we've got another one here, that's three. What I'm going to do is start with this one. The first thing we have to do is look at it. It's got red and blue. What we have to do is match the blue with its blue centerpiece. Once we do that, we have to examine the cube. We look at the top, it's red. We have to find where red is from blue. It's to our right. Not to our left, that's orange, but to our right. If this is situation one, we've got the two colors the same and the top color is to your right, we then do this equation. Top away, right away, top back, right back. Top back, front away, top away, front back. Once we do that equation, we've got the cube where we want it to be. Now we look at another one. This is situation number two. What we do for this one is the same as situation one. We've got blue. We want to line it up with its blue centerpiece. We then look to see what's on the top. It's orange. Is orange to our right or to our left? Orange is to our left. When this is the case, this is scenario two. What we do is put the two colors that are the same into my right, so it's facing my right hand. Ah, uh, that's because it's my favorite hand. Then we do this equation. Top back, front away, top away, front back, top away, right away, top back, right back. Once we do that, we've got the piece into its place. That's situation number two. We then go on three. This what well, this situation is where we've got this. The cube is in its right place, but the colors are opposite. What we have to do is get this out of the way. We're going to use the equation from situation one to do so. So in saying that, there's only two equations you need to learn for the middle layer. This, we repeat the equation from situation one. Top away, right away, top back, right back. Top back, front away, top away, front back. We've then moved that piece out of the way and it's here and then we go on um, and we line it up, we line it up as what, what we normally do. We line it up with its middle centerpiece pair. We look what's on the top, it's orange. The orange is on our right, so we do that first situation equation yet again. Top away, right away, top back, right back, top back, front away, top away, front back. It's then in place. We then do any other piece that we haven't done yet. We've got this one. I want to match it up with its centerpiece pair. And this one's going to our left. We, because it's going to our left, we put the two matching pieces facing my right hand. And we do situations two equation. Top, back, front, away, top, away, front, back, top, away, right, away, top, back, right, back. We then have done that whole middle piece. Congratulations, you've done two thirds of your cube. Okay, once we've done that, we are going to get the top layer yellow cross. There's only one equation you have to do for this, but there are three scenarios you can get before you do it. This is the first scenario, but you do the same equation for all of them. 
What you do is, we've only got this center piece. We've got none of the yellow cross pieces. What you do is locate them, one of them, and make it face you. We then do the equation right back, top back, front away, top away, front back, right away. This is scenario two. We also have a yellow piece facing you. And then you do the equation, the same one, right back, top back, front away, top away, front back, right away. We've then got this equation. What we want to do is flip it so it looks like this. We should have a yellow piece facing us. We then do that equation one last time, right back, top back, front away, top away, front back, right away. And you should have that cross piece done. If you've got any other yellow pieces, don't worry about that. We'll be doing that in the next video, but that's what you want. In saying that, you could have to do that equation up to three times. You may only have to do it once though. It just depends what you have. But each time it's the same equation. Rate, comment, subscribe.